What's going on everybody, Vlogger5 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create encrypted containers using Veracrypt. All relevant links will be in chronological order in the description. This tutorial will be on Windows, so if you're using something such as Linux, I would recommend you find a tutorial relevant to you. I might even make one myself. Anyway, without any further stalling, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate to the official Veracrypt website, and we're going to select the .exe installer for Windows. Normally, I would verify the PGB signature, but for the sake of convenience and time, I will not be doing that in this tutorial. Once your file has finished downloading, you're going to want to navigate to where it is. For me, it's going to be my downloads folder here, and you're going to want to double click on it to start the setup process. Always make sure that the publisher is verified. And from here, we're going to be starting the setup. The first step in the installation process is going to be selecting a language. Personally, I speak English, but multiple other languages are available. Next, you're going to be prompted with the Veracrypt license. You can accept these terms without reading them, but you can read them if you would like. Next is going to be your method of installation. Installing the program will make a permanent program on your computer, such as your browser. Extracting the program will create a portable version of Veracrypt, as you can see here. Personally, for this tutorial, we're going to be installing the program. You can choose where you would like it installed, you can choose a different hard drive if you would like, different file, whatever you would like. It's also good security practice not to install this for all users. Once all this is complete, click install. You will be prompted like that when Veracrypt has successfully installed. This donation screen can be skipped if you would like, but if you would like to support the team, you can donate to them. Then click finish. You will then be prompted with a beginner's tutorial for Veracrypt. I will leave this in the description, so I will not be clicking yes. As you can see on our desktop here, Veracrypt has successfully installed, and we can now begin the process of creating an encrypted container. To begin the process of creating an encrypted container, select Create Volume. The encrypted container will already be pre-selected as an option, and I will not be covering these two options in this tutorial. Select Next. You will then be prompted by Volume Type. Hidden Veracrypt volumes are meant to be hidden in standard Veracrypt volumes, so we will be selecting standard Veracrypt volume. Volume location refers to where you would like to store your encrypted container. For sake of tutorial, I will be using my desktop. Once you have your file location, you must give your file a name. For me, I will name it volume. Once you have selected a name, click save. You should now see the location in which you saved your file and the file name. Next, you will choose your encryption algorithm. If you drop down this list, you will be given multiple ways that you can encrypt your container. I highly recommend that you research each of these on your own time. I will leave a link in the description. The hash algorithm specifies the strength of the encryption of the master key. I will leave a much more detailed explanation to what this is in the description. You will then be brought to the volume size selection. This will list how much space is on the drive in which you want your encrypted container to be. It can be as low as kilobytes and as high as terabytes. I will be using gigabytes in only five of them, given how little space is on my drive. Veracrypt requires a password for your encrypted container and recommends your password is over 20 characters long and Veracrypt has a maximum of 128 characters. Veracrypt also has an optional feature where you can use a file as a key. Any file type can be used, including this picture of Freddy Fazbear. You do not need to enable this if you do not want to use a file as a key. Since my password is not the recommended 20 characters, Veracrypt will give me a warning about it. If you plan on storing files larger than 4 gigabytes on your encrypted container, it would be wise to select large files. You will now be brought to the volume format page. This is where you will encrypt your drive by randomly moving your mouse around the Veracrypt creation window. I would recommend that you fill this progress bar all the way up to green before clicking format. Congratulations, you have now created your encrypted container. 
click OK. You will be prompted if you would like to create another container. If not, select Exit. In order to open up your encrypted container, you will need to select a drive. Any letter will do. Personally, I prefer L. Once you have selected your drive, you will need to navigate to where your encrypted container is stored. Once you have navigated to your volume location, select your volume and click open. Once you have selected a drive and opened up your volume, select mount. This is where you will enter the password that you selected. If you use the key file, make sure you select use key files and open up the key file that you used. Again, for me, is a picture of Freddy Fazbear. If you have entered all your information correctly, select OK. Veracrypt will mount your encrypted container as if it were a hard drive. You can now import files into your encrypted container. For me, it will be my highly sensitive Freddy folder. Once you are finished with your encrypted container, you can simply select Dismount. Veracrypt will automatically dismount your encrypted container. Thank you all so much for watching to the end. If you did find this video helpful, make sure you leave a like. I will be making more of these in the future, although it's a little different from what I normally upload. But I thought as though it'd be nice to make something different for once. So hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.